Hello, everybody. Hello. Are you ready to start? Yes. Yes. Okay, it's uh, 7.59. Let's wait a minute for the others. So we can start at 8 o'clock. Hello? How are you today? Hello. How was your day, guys? I'm fine. Fine. Did you work today? Yes, I work. Uh, since 7.30 a.m. to 3.30 From 7.30? Two, two, three, three, thirty p.m. Mm -hmm. uh, to three thirty. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, it's nice to see you again, guys. Is today is a new week. Uh, we are going to start with the class, and we are going to review a little bit about last last session class. So for this, I have prepared a, a presentation with a review. And do you remember what uh, did we study last Thursday? Do you remember the topic, guys? Hi, everybody. We saw the W questions and yes, no questions. Uh, yes, yes, no questions and WH question. And we also studied the simple present. Do you remember okay. about it? The simple present. So for today, uh, okay, can you see my screen, the presentation? Yes. 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 Okay. okay. Uh, let's review a little bit about uh, simple present. And uh, I'm going to share with you uh, this information that we just studied last Thursday. And it says that we use the simple present to talk about habit. Um, can somebody help me please read in the, the concept? We use the simple present too. I do. Me. Me. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, Sylvia, I guess, said me. Okay. Okay. Uh, habit. Uh, we use the simple present to talk about thing we do all the time yes uh, we use the simple present to talk about uh, daily routines uh, things that we use that we do uh, uh, very very often like in our everyday for example uh, this is my example I drink coffee at 3 p.m. every day so we use simple present to express a habit that we have. And also I have the second one. My mom watches TV at night because she always watches TV at night. That is something that she always do. And next one, can somebody help me please? My nephew studies from 7 to 11 a.m. Yes, my nephew studies from 7 to 11 a.m. Next one. My sister works from 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, look at this. 
um, look at the verb when we use a uh, third person. In, in the first one, I drink, uh, we use the first person. So we, we don't add the S in the verb. I drink coffee at 3 p.m. every day. In the second one, the subject is my mom. She is a three person. Because we can say my mom or we can say she. She watches TV. In this case, we add ES to the verb watch. Uh, because it's a third person. In the next one, my nephew is a third person too. Because we can say he, he studies from 7 to 11 a.m. And in the last one, my sister works with S at the, at the end. Uh, we use the S in the verb work because it's third person too. Uh, let me see. Do you have any questions so far? It's clear. Yes. Yes. We oh. add the S in the verb when uh, we talk about a third person. Can be he, she, or it. Uh, then we are going to uh, study she. that. Yeah, then. Okay, uh, then we are going to, to stop and to explain that uh, a little bit slower. Right now we are going to review another use for the simple present. And we use the simple present uh, for things that are generally, generally true or always true. For example, snow is white. We, we already know that snow is white, it's not green, it's not black, it's white. So that is true. As well, we have, it's hot in San Miguel. Because we, if you have gone to San Miguel, uh, you feel the, the heat that is very strong, it's very hot. So that, that, is, that is a true. Also, ice is cool we know that ice is cool it can be hot that is cool and fish can swim fish can swim that is a, an ability that, that they have okay guys um i need you to provide me with some examples uh let me see i'm going to go out the presentation and in here you can dictate me a sentence any sentence any example and i'm going to write that in the presentation so can you tell me an example the sky is blue the sky is blue. Okay, that is uh, maybe true. Sometimes it's, it's like gray, but most of the time it's blue. But that is a true. Another one, please. Someone different. The tree is green. The tree is green. Okay, nice. And another one. Remember that rabbit, is... Rabbit can jump. Rabbit. Can jump. And in this case, we are going to use rabbits in general, in plural. Can okay. jump. Or in, using the third person, we can say the rabbit. 
Let me see. The planes uh, flies. The rabbit can jump. Mm -hmm. Or singular. Uh, which one did you tell me? The planes uh, flies. The plane. Planes fly and the planes. The aeroplane. Uh, we can say plane as well. Okay. Flies. 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 Because it's Flies. third person, we add, we change. Because fly is the regular verb. To talk about a uh, third person, in this case, the plane is an object. It's a third person. Yes. We change that. The letter Y and we use I E S. I flies. Yes. yes. But if if we can say bears in general. Fly. Okay. okay. Because it's in plural, we use the regular verb fly because we are okay. talking about they they fly okay okay good those are some examples about using the simple present to talk about uh truth general truth so does somebody have any question Hello, guys. No. No question. No question. Okay, let's go to the next slide. To the next slide. Okay, in here we have the positive, negative, and question for question for the use of simple present. Um, okay, um, can you, Manuel, please help me reading the first uh, sentence? Me, teacher. Okay, go, well, Sulma. Yes. Positive, I like soccer. Negative, I don't like soccer. And question, do I like soccer? Do I like soccer? Okay, it's very simple. In positive, we use the positive. regular verb. Uh, in this case, nice. like. Nice. Uh, in the negative form, we don't use uh, don't, don't like. And in the question form, we use do. The auxiliary do that we use for question. Do I like soccer? And the following examples is the same. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. You play basketball. You don't play basketball. Do you play basketball? Okay, good. Well, it's like the first one. Uh, the only thing that changes is the bear, is the, I mean, the subject. In this case, is I. The second one is you. And for the number three, another volunteer, please. Uh, I teacher. Okay. Uh, we study English. We don't study English. Negative. Question Do we study English? Do we study English? Okay. Excuse me. Do we start in English? Study. 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 We study, study English. We don't study English. Do we study English? Do we study English? Yes. Okay. Okay, study. thank you. Okay, teacher. So for the last one. Mm -hmm. uh, they eat pizza. They don't eat pizza. Do they eat pizza? Do they eat pizza? Okay. As you can see, it's very easy. It's very simple. 
as long as you follow the rule, uh, you won't get confused. So just pay attention to the subject and the correct use of the verb and pay attention when there is a third person, like in this example. Uh, we are doing the same in this one, but the only thing is that we are using she, he, and it, for example. So in this case, we are going to add the S. Depends of the verb. And we are going to use, instead of do, we use does. Does. And for the negative form, we say doesn't. Okay, let's go. Uh, I need another volunteer, please. Another volunteer, maybe. Uh, let me see. Maybe who is. You. She okay. likes soccer. Next one, the negative form. She does like soccer. And the question for. Boys, the league soccer. Okay, listen. She likes. She likes she soccer. Like soccer. Uh, she doesn't like soccer. She doesn't like soccer. And does she li uh, I mean, does she like soccer? She likes soccer. Does, does she, she like likes soccer? Does she like soccer? Okay. Uh, look at this. In this case, in the positive form, we add the S, the letter S, to the verb. In the negative form, because we use the auxiliary doesn't, we don't use the, the S for the verb. And in the question as well, we use does, and we don't need the S for the verb like. We use uh, the S only for the positive form. Is that clear, guys? Yes. 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 Okay, yes. the next one will be the same. We change she for he. He plays. He plays basketball. Okay, continue. Somebody. He doesn't, he doesn't play basketball. He doesn't play basketball. Yes. basketball. For the question. Does he play basketball? Does he play basketball? Does he play basketball? Okay, very good. And the last one. I do. The dog run fast. Uh -huh. The dog doesn't run fast. Does the dog run fast? Okay. Uh, the dog run fast. Runs. The dog doesn't run fast. The dog runs fast. And does the dog run fast? Okay, guys, very good. Uh, when we use she, he, or it, pay attention to the verb because we add the S. And for the negative form, uh, we don't use the, the S. Uh, because we are using the auxiliary does in the negative form and as well in the question form we use the auxiliary does so we don't need the s in the verb okay guys let's see uh, there is another rule uh, re related to the s to the use of the S. Okay, listen. When the verb ends with CH, S, uh, SH, or X, 
we add es not only the s but we add the e and the s for example the bear watch uh, that is in the veins for watch uh, when we talk about a third person we say watches for example she watches uh, he watches my father watches TV. We add the letter E and the S. As well, when the verb ends with S, we add the ES as well. And when it finishes uh, with S and H, always we uh, I mean add es as well when the verb ends with a o we say goes go goes and when the verb end with s x I mean we always add es so pay attention to these letters when the verb ends with this letter, we add ES. Is it clear? Yes. It's clear. OK, vamos a explicar. Cuando el verbo termina en CH, en S, SH, O, en X, agregamos ES al final del verbo. Por ejemplo, en watch, no decimos watch, decimos watches. Cuando sí, apague los micrófonos, por favor, teacher, que no, no se logra escuchar bien. Oh. Ok, que apague los micrófonos de todos porque no se escucha casi. Ok. Um... Ahorita estoy viendo quiénes lo tienen encendido. Ok, ya. Ah, ¿Escuchan un poquito mejor? Yes. Sigue la interferencia. Ok, yes, para quienes escucha. tienen encendido el micrófono, ayúdenme a ponerlo en mudo, por favor. Para que los demás escuchen. Ahora sí. Yes, yes. Correcto. Yes, sí. teacher. Okay, ahorita Thank está you. claro. Ahorita se escucha claro. Ok, como les decía, cuando termina el verbo en CH, en S, SH o X, agregamos no solo la S, sino que también la E. ES. Por ejemplo, watch, watches. Guess, guesses. Finish, finishes. Go, goes, fix, fixes. Uh, cuando usamos tercera persona. Cuando usamos he, she, or it. Y la otra regla. Cuando el verbo te, termina en Y o Y, no agregamos S, sino que agregamos ISS. Por ejemplo, study, studies. Carry, carries. Fly, flies. Siempre ponga atención en la letra con la que termina el verbo. Porque... Teacher, sí. ¿qué, quiere, ¿qué significa guess? Guess. Guess. Uh, guess significa en español adivinar. Uh, okay. Yes. Thank you. Ok, you're welcome. So, Una pregunta. Ok, dígame. Eh, en, los, en la regla que se da al principio, yo veo que no coincide la palabra go. Porque no termina en CH, ni S, ni SH, ni X. Ah, en este caso, lo que pasó fue que no se lo agregó aquí. Because the pair is irregular. 
Uh -huh. No se lo agregué aquí. Pero sí. Cuando terminen O, por ejemplo, Go, usamos la eh, S. And because claro. it's a regular, yes. irregular verb. As the classmate Thank says. Ok, siempre pongan atención en esto. Usando tercera persona. Ok. Let's do some, some examples. Uh, for this, I need a volunteer to put in practice the rules. Look at the verb catch. It ends with CH. Catches. Catches. The player catches the ball. The player catches. Okay. The player catches the ball. Next one. In here we have go and do. And go. Goes. And it goes. Go, he goes. And it goes. Oh. To her office every day and does 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 what her job in in an excellent way in an excellent way okay good and look at this we have the verb fix it ends with x Fixes. 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 So, my dad. Mechanic. My dad is. My dad is a mechanic. Fixes. He mechanic. fixes cars all the, all the time. All the time. Okay, it's very simple the use of, of these rules. So you just need to uh memorize this with the practice you are going to uh, make it easy it will be easy for you to to remember about these rules um if we can add one more example in here uh, you can tell me one more example Anybody using these rules, any of these rules, it can be with uh, ending in S, S, H, X. You can tell me an example, and I'm going my to, family, to write. My family is watches TV. My family, uh, in this case, because. What? A uh, family is uh, more than one person. It's a plural now. Plural. My family are watching. But in this case, uh, okay. watching. My brother, my brother watch TV all the time. Okay, that one is in simple present. Okay. My brother, it's okay. My brother. Watch it. Watch it. TV. Yeah. Okay, simple. My brother okay. watches TV. Teacher. Excuse me, eh, esta presentación será que nos la puede mandar al, al grupo. Yes, of course. I'm okay. going to share that with you. So, my family are ma, watching ma. TV. This is another uh, tense because in this case, we are using uh, ING. A esto le llamamos gerundio. En este caso ya nos estamos pasando al... Este la sería, otra. Sería, ¿cómo, ¿cómo se llama este? 
Present continuum. Present continuum, yes. Because we use ing. But right now we are studying uh, the simple present. But it's, that is the way that uh, you. Family uh, watch TV. My family are watching TV. Pero es bueno que, que lo mencionen también, porque más adelante también vamos a ver el present continuum. Okay, uh, we are going to... My, my... Yes, tell me. My sister studies by the morning. My sister... Is, is, is studies... Is... Studies. Is that by the morning? In the morning. Oh, oh. In the morning. That is a time expression. In. In this class, we are going to review about time expression as well. Uh, when, when we say at 11 o'clock, in the morning, uh, on Saturdays, things like that. Then we are going to study the time expression but this one is okay my sister studies in the morning it's good okay let's do some something and we are going to do the exercise that is in the in the platform okay let's go this one and uh, did you did you the did you do this uh, exercise? No. Yes, I do. The knowledge it's... check? I don't. You don't. <laughs> okay, we are going to do that. These are for WH questions that we couldn't do last session. We are going to do. Oh, yes, I, this, I did this, this one. Ah, uh, you did it, okay. So do what do it? What do it? What do you do? Pay attention. What, what do you do? do? What, we do? Have what do you do? The subject do. you. Yeah. You do. So we use do. What do you do? What do you do? I'm a full time student. I studied the violin. Yeah, full time student. The violin. I studied the violin. Next one. Where do you where, go? Where, 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 where do you go? Where do you go? School? Do you? Do yes. you sure. Where do you where go? Do you go? Where do you go? To school. To school. I go to the New York School of Music. I go to the New School of Music. Okay, number three. Like how, how do you, you like, like your how class? You like how do you like, do you like your how classes? Do you like? How do you like? And how do you like your classes? I like them. A how lot. do you like your classes? I like them a lot. I like them a lot. Them a, lot. a lot. I like them a lot. Okay. Me gustan bastante, o me gustan demasiado. What and, does, uh, what what does, does Tanya what do? Does she is she a teacher. She is a teacher. What does Tanya what does, do? What does Tanya do? She or is a teacher. We, or we can say, what does she do? What, what does, does she do? Tanya, Tanya do. She, she is, is a teacher. She is a teacher. Number five. What does she exactly? She teaches math. What does she do exactly? She teaches math. <laughs> okay, look at this this example. Teach uh, ends with ch, and because we are talking about um she, we add the es. She teaches math. 
She teaches math. Number six. What about Ryan? What Where about Ryan? He works. He works. For the computer work. company. Where does work? Work, work? What about Ryan? Where the does he Ryan. work? He works, he works for a big computer company. He works for a big computer company. Company. What okay, does, nice. And the last one. What, what does he do exactly? What does he do? What does he do exactly? What does he do? What does he do? Websites. He creates websites. Websites. Look at this verb. Create. Create is the base form without the S. For example, I create, you create, they create. And because okay. we're talking about he, we add okay. the, the S. He creates website. And is what? What does he do exactly? He creates website. Let's submit. Very nice job. Yes. Okay, I guess some of you have uh, already done these exercises. Yes, we, we are just reviewing the topic. Okay, next section. Time expression. We are going to learn about time expression. So let's let's watch this video. Let's watch a video. And like the last uh, example, can you read it clear? The paragraph? Yes. Yes, yes I do. Yes. Okay. I need a girl and a boy to perform me? the conversation. Me teacher. Okay, Manuel says me first, and who says me? The girl? <laughs> what, Manuel? Who will be Helen? Yeah, I do. Okay, Manuel will be Daniel. Manuel de Jesus and Helen. Okay. Who wants to be Helen? Me, teacher. Okay. Okay, let's go. Uh, read the, the, okay. the next conversation. Go okay. ahead. So, so, do you call it from the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work in the Work, working. Work. At five. Work five. At five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do at Catholic? I am TV announcer. I do the, the weather report on KNTV. KNTV. Don't, don't you recon, recognize, recognize me? Recon, recognize me. Recognize me. Recognize me. Oh, you're Helen Black. I love I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. I'm Daniel. Very good. So, do you did you find some new vocabulary in this conversation? Yeah, announcer. Announcer. Announce. A TV announcer. Mm. Is is the guy who presents the news. Okay. Uh, like 
uh, Moises Urbina. <laughs> yeah, like uh, the man who is in Cuatro Visión at, at noon. No sé cómo, el que, cómo se llama, el que dice buen provecho para todos. <laughs> el que sale en Cuatro Visión a las 12. Alex Pineda. Yeah. Alex Pineda. <laughs> He's a TV announcer. <laughs> And uh, let's see. Uh, can you find the time expression? Which For one? example, in the morning. In the morning. In is a time expression. In the morning. Another one is at five. Uh, behind in the, the afternoon. Afternoon. in the in the afternoon. In the afternoon, late. what what line? In what line is that? Ah, Helen. Helen. Mm -hmm. I work in Helen. the afternoon. In the afternoon, also at night. At night we use at, at, night. at at midnight. At midnight. At midnight. At midnight. Midnight. Do you know what midnight. is midnight? Medianoche. Yes. Medianoche. Yes, midnight. Like noon. Late. Noon late. is. Okay, late is like um uh, adverb of, of time. Ese es un adverbio. And another one. Only that, only does sign inspection. How do you say announcer? Announcer. Mm. At TV, announcer. Announcer. And this word, recognize. Recognize, recognize me. me. Recognize, recognize me. me. Don't you recognize me? What is recognize? What does it mean, teacher? Recognize. Reconocer. Yes. Reconocer. Reconocer in Spanish. Okay, let's listen to the conversation. Pay attention to pronunciation and intonation. Go ahead. Let's wait. I first introduced. I start work at five. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay, could you hear the the pronunciation? Yes. 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 Okay, yes. By, by listening yes, to the videos, you can practice and you can... Uh, realize how some words are pronounced. So let's go back to the PowerPoint, PowerPoint presentation. Okay. Let's go for the time expression or preposition of time. Look at this chart. We have in here the word or the preposition at, the preposition in, and the preposition on. Can you see the chart? Okay, we have at, in, and on. We use at to talk about a precise time 
for example, the hours of the clock at three o'clock, at 10.30 a.m., at noon, at dinner time, at bed time, at sunrise, at sunset, and at the moment. Uh, is it clear the use of the preposition at? Yes. We use that to talk about a specific uh, time. For example, right now is 8.45. Uh, but for example, we have classes at 8 p.m. I wake up at 5 a.m. I have a meeting at three o'clock. And as well, we use at to express, uh, for example, at noon. Do you know what is noon? It's 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock or mediodia in Spanish. What? At dinner time. Yes, go ahead. What's the difference between at three o'clock, three o'clock and three p.m. or three a.m.? Three o'clock. Uh, there is no difference. It's basically the same. Uh, the word mm -hmm. o'clock means that is exactly three p.m exactly 3 p.m. or can I use 3 o'clock or 3 p.m. or 3 p.m. and the a.m. will be the same basically it's the same is okay. me that means that it's exactly when we have 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock it's exactly 3 o'clock okay I I cannot uh, say uh, at 10 and 30 o'clock no 10 30 o'clock um is not usually used we we say okay. 10 30 a.m okay. okay okay and it... y, y como se llama y, y para Eh, también no sé si es a las 10 y 30 at uh, 30 last past uh, 10 uh, 30 past 10 is another way uh, 30 last last past 10 debe decir como la 10 pasada la aquí sería oh, espérame, quiero ver. 30 past 10 teacher excuse uh, me a uh, fair eh, past ten, así, uh -huh. yeah. Fair past Teacher, es que me, es, de, yeah. es decir de que, pues, eh, at es una, un tiempo preciso, ¿verdad? Yes, okay. an a specific time. Específico. Para, para decir una hora en específica. Exacto. Y también para decir al mediodía, al uh, dinner time, que es en la cena, al bedtime, at the time we go to sleep, at sunrise, al amanecer, at sunset, sunset, I mean, al atardecer, and at the moment, that is right now. So you, we use at to talk about a specific time. Okay, thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Okay. You're welcome. Any other question about at? Mm -hmm. No. No. Okay, let's go to the other one. No. In. The preposition in. And we use in to talk about month, years, decades, centuries, or seasons. For example, in May. In May, a specific month. In summer or in, in the summer. 
in 19 in 1990 or in the 90s in the next century in the in the ice age in the past or in the future in the past future in the past or future the past or future for example right now we are in July. July is a month of the year. Right now we are in 2021. In 2021. I was born in 2018, for example. So, usamos la preposición in para hablar de meses, de años, por ejemplo, 1990, 2021, el año en que nacieron, para decir décadas, en los 90, in the 90s, in the 80s, in the 70s, uh, eh, season, las estaciones del año in summer, in spring, in winter, and also in, in autumn. En ese, con estos tiempos usamos in, la preposición in. Uh, it's clear, guys. You got the idea, the, the rule? Yes. Or yes. Do, you, do you have any question? In este caso, we don't say at May. No, because at is for a specific time. We say in May. Okay. The preposition on. We use on for days and dates on a specific day of the week. For example, today is Monday. We have classes on Monday. Or we don't have classes on Sunday. We also have classes on Tuesdays. Or to say, to talk about on a specific time, on a specific date, I mean, on March 6th, on December 20th and 2010, on Christmas Day, on Independence Day, on my birthday or in New Year's Eve. En este caso usamos la precisión, la perdón, preposición on para mencionar los días de la semana o una fecha en específica. Okay, is it clear or do you have any questions uh, with clear. this preposition? It's okay. It's clear. Okay. Uh, ¿Para qué usamos in? For months, years, centuries, seasons, and decades. Mm -hmm. Decades. Eh, ¿Para qué usamos at? Es eh, para tiempo For específico, a, algo específico. Es time. Um, to a specific moment. Specific moment. Uh, yes. For example, my English class is is at uh, at night. p.m. At eight p.m. or at night. Uh, pon atención en esta, at night. At night. ¿Por qué no decimos in the night? Como, como decimos in the morning, in the afternoon, sino que decimos at night. Es el único tiempo. Because, de... because at night is a specific time. Uh, in, 
int is a, a, a long time, I don't know. Yes. Sí, pero en este caso, cuando nos referimos a la mañana o en la tarde, usamos in. In the morning or in the afternoon. Pero cuando nos vamos a referir a la noche, usamos at. At night. Es la única que se usa con at. Night. At night. Or at midnight. At noon. No decimos in the night. No. Usamos at. Esa sería la única regla para, para esa. Y en la mañana sí podemos decir in the morning, in the mm -hmm. afternoon, en yeah. la tarde. Y on mm -hmm. lo usamos para decir alguna fecha en específico o los días de la semana. Por ejemplo, my birthday is on August 23rd. Mi cumpleaños es en el 23 de agosto. Hoy, or, I mean, um, my mother's birthday is on May 10th. Para decir una fecha en específico. The Independence Day is on September 15th. It's on. Or to say the, the day of, of the week. I don't work on Saturdays. I don't work on Saturdays. We have classes on Monday. Okay, if you don't have any question, uh, let's move to the next slide. Here we have some examples. We have classes at night at 8 p.m. Uh, next. Uh, can you please help me with the other examples? The shop closes at midnight. At midnight. The shop closes at midnight. Okay, look at this. In here Jane goes we have home at noon. James goes home at noon. Si logran ver aquí. If you pay attention to this, we have the two topics, the simple present and the preposition of time. In este caso, the shop closes. Usamos ES at the end. Porque el verbo close, close, termina con E. Y cuando termina con E, usamos la S cuando es tercera persona, the shop. And also James goes home. No decimos James, go, go home. So in here we have a, a mix of the two topics. Let's continue. I work early in the morning. Okay, continue reading the other ones. I drink coffee in the afternoon. I drink coffee in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Did do you, you work, work on Mondays? Do you work on Mondays? Her birthday is on August 22. What do you do on Sundays? What do you do on Sunday? Look at this. At, at 8 p.m., at midnight, at noon, in the morning, in the afternoon, on Mondays, on August. 22nd on Sundays. Pay attention to the time expression, to the correct uh, time expression. Uh, let's practice. Okay, what we are going to do is the same. You are going to tell me your own examples. To finish the class, we have a couple of minutes, so we can do some sentences. Or let's do something. Uh, let's go to the chat and you can write an example using time is expression. For example, I go to bed at uh, 10 p.m. I go to bed at 10 p.m. 
can go to the at PM. Or, or you can use another preposition. Uh, you can use in or you can use bed, uh, on. Okay, use the chat. And for example, my mom cooks at night. Very good. I would like to have a dinner. I would like to have a dinner at 8 p.m. Very good. I go to supermarket on Sundays. Very nice. I wake up at 5 a.m. I get up at 6 a.m. My birthday is on is in June. Good. Very good. 5 a.m. I wake up at 5 a.m. Very nice. Okay, uh, do you have any questions before the class ends? About the preposition of time? I go to job. I go to job at 6 a.m. I start work at 8 a.m. I work in the morning. I wake up at 8 a.m. Okay, very nice. If you don't have any questions, um, let's finish the class. Okay, thank you. Sister. Okay, nice thank night. you for coming. You. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Thank you good night. Good night. Good night. Si pueden estudiar, uh, estudien en la plataforma. Nos vemos mañana. Bye. Okay. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Have a good night. Okay, teacher. Bye-bye.